and welcome back everybody to episode 12 of our Bithynia Let's Play on the DLC Wrath of Sparta Overhaul mod Dimitrios Perikrikis on Total War Rome 2. Well, hey guys, hope you're doing well and you're ready to get right into this. Where we last left off, we just took the city of Torona and Amphilius, or Amphilis with our two main invading forces. Uh, Empress is sending an army, it seems, north to Midi to engage us. Which would be quite pleasant to see what they're packing. Um, other than that, though, nothing else is going on too far. Uh, we're actually drawing pretty close to the end of the campaign, honestly. I didn't know that we were, but we definitely are. Um, securing this region here will give us almost... Well, we need Thrake, which will take Thassos, and that's it. But we need more armies, more navies, and uh, 40 regions total. So a good long war with Empress would probably give us those regions. But, um, yeah, so far, so good. And uh, we're going to make landing here and uh, push to Thessalonica. Thessalonica. Yeah, Thessalonica, yeah. I didn't expect to see that on the map. Uh, and Midi, and then hopefully Pella and Theon. And probably deal with this army somewhere around then. But, yeah, without further ado, I think we can end our turn. The south is as neutral as always. We might gather an army to push that way eventually. But for now, we shall not. We shall wait. And we shall hold. Glory, Acadia. wealth, and a place in the histories. They've All landed there. Will be ours when we are I don't necessarily think we need to get involved with any big allegiances, but um, perhaps, maybe. Uh, we're just gonna send an envoy, or envoy, however you want to say it. Demetrios has managed to gather quite a force. Or he's gathering a force uh, that he seems to be sending down to Kios. Give me just a minute. Give me my dog a treat. There you go. Trying to get her to be quiet while I'm recording. But, uh, yeah. Alright, let's go to the important parts. Over here. No, Torvona. So, we don't want to get slums. So, that, that, and then... Does this give squalor? No, it gives food problems. That's good. Um, that, and then repair that. So these guys are sick. That's not good. They're not sick. So we'll have these guys push up and take Thessalonica. And hopefully we can keep moving. We are recruiting a new army here. So that's good. Let's probably grab... Just some Thracian warriors, or Thrakes. And elsewhere, I think we don't want to spend too much money. We don't have a lot. The centaurs are sailing somewhere. They look like they might be making a beeline to Marina. So it might be interesting, because we might have to send our navy out there, and our navy's not good. I wonder where they're actually going. Because if they're going from Marina, we actually need to send an, our army that way. We could raise an army, but they're not going to get a proper defense. You hush, girl. You know better. Uh, you you're, no. <laughs> We're getting a lot of these islands asking us for... Wow! No, Ava. Good girl, but no. Sorry, guys. She just begs for this stuff constantly. Alrighty, though. In the south here, where the Kos has eliminated uh, Militos. Man, they, like, they just stormed through them pretty quick. That means that they're about to be pushed. They're about to be on our border, which is not good. <laughs> so that army didn't sail anywhere. That's good. Ah, oh, they got poisoned because they passed through there. Gosh darn it! And now, yeah, they can't move either. Interrupts unit. Yeah, yeah, they can't move. Uh, campaign's coming to a slog or a slog already because we can't push. Um, I know there's one here for industry. I know it. Livestock. Where is it? There it is. Industry. 
<clears throat> excuse me. We're going to hold off on recruiting that unit in the north. Because we might need to raise a army in the south at Sardis or Marina. Uh, I, think we, I think we're good in our turns. So I don't know why we... I think the disease affected this army's movement, sadly. But, handle that in just a second. Oh, the agents are trying to fuck with us too now. Oh, the navy, the army is pulling back though, that's good. Much rather have them come to us at land so we don't gotta try and track where they're going to invade. Yeah, we're losing men now. Oh, well, that's good. Hero of the army. Time and time again, the noble warrior has elevated himself above and beyond his duty. With unparalleled skill and tenacity, tenacity in combating our enemies, his name will henceforth be remembered, echoing through the ages as a hero of our nation. Oh, that's good. Our Bacillus actually got that. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's 68, so might as well remember him, guys. He doesn't have too much longer to go. Construction was done. Lots of settlements. That's good. Now, you can attack Thessalonica, and I think you should. We definitely want to take it. Thessalonica had walls, apparently. It's a good thing that it's just a city garrison. Yeah, just occupy it. Did we lose? No. I thought we lost somebody. Oh yeah, it's got a megalopus, mega megapolis, megapolis. I'm stupid, megalopus. Um, gotta destroy that. Keep that there, actually, but destroy the other thing. And yeah, this city is still suffering. They're gonna take a lot of shit from it. Oh, sanitation's actually doing good now. And that army is pulled back. Ephesus still holds for now. Wow, they actually, yeah. Hmm. It's a growing, that's a growing concern. That they uh, eliminated our buffer so quickly. I, uh, but we don't have a military. <laughs> we, I was an idiot and got rid of all of our military buildings, which was not a smart idea. Don't do that. Don't, don't do what I did and destroy your military province. Go for that, sure, why not? Actually, no, there's a, there's a reason we weren't doing that. Yeah, stick with that. Economic archives. Alrighty. So over here, you're good on sanitation. You have walls, which is interesting. You look like you do not, though. Take Midis or Mendes in the next turn. They do have an army, it looks, right here, pushing on us, or a advanced scouting force is ahead of the main army. Pella's going to be hard to take, for sure. Tin garrison. Uh, maybe. Depends on the uh, siege map. Let's go ahead and return. Dilly-dallying here. We have battles to fight. Dimitrios, I would say he seems to be bringing it back with that one army. Which is impressive, if you can. And uh, their agents are going to be causing trouble, but there's nothing we can do about that. Okay, so at Fleet, they are heading to Mindos. Or Minde. I keep changing that name. They're heading to Mead. I'm just going to call it Mead. Athena inspired You're about to die. Why would I do that? Glory. Nope. Excuse me. A new... Yeah, <laughs> they... They caused a... Another outbreak in Thessalonica. Well, gosh, diggity darn. Um, that means this army is going to suffer a lot. Fortify. Pull out of the settlement. Fortify as well. Both our armies are getting destroyed by the plague. Meaning that when this army gets here, they might have a good chance of actually killing us. So we might want to be careful with that. This army, however, is fully ready to go. And I think we should keep up the pressure and push on Pella. I do not think we should wait around. 
I want to... Um... Nah. We're going to keep that guy. Send it 4,800. Hmm. Ah, uh, they have secured the south here. So Sardis and Samira are exposed. So we're going to probably need to raise an army. And go with the local troops or mercenaries. What's your melee defense? 59. That's pretty... That is really high. Jesus. Uh, oh, the mercenaries look nice, but... You have melee defense of 52 and attack, but you're expensive. Let's... What do we have in the garrison? Not a lot. We've got three range, though. Hmm. Three spears. Um... Yeah, get two of those. Two of them. That'll just be a garrison army that we can pull out and hopefully hold. You need a sanitation building. Or not a sanitation building. Hold on. Agriculture does really well in this region. I know there's one that says for livestock. We might just do want do that and double up. Yeah, look at those those uh, positives. Jesus. Meanwhile, over here, can get the archery range. Minus one food. We can take that. Let's end our turn and hope that they don't keep pressing us. Keep spying. They do have armies lingering. They have artillery. That's scary. I've never seen an AI actually recruit artillery, so... Glory, Demetrios wants an alliance. All of these will be ours when we are united now, as allying friends. with Demetrios would be interesting. How about... There we go. So if you're going to ally, if you want your victory conditions to be held, you might as well go for a military alliance because it'll count towards your military objective. All no. Right. They're mad at us now because we allied with their hated enemy. Yeah, we're still suffering from the plague. They're... The enemy might have a strong chance of actually killing our armies. I'm kind of nervous. Uh, Three attack range. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous, actually. Because that army is about dead. So is this army. This army is basically gone. And this navy, or this general fleet, looks to be heading right for us. And Tyrone's garrison is nowhere near done. So what we might have to do is pull this army back. Try and garrison what men we got. Meanwhile, this army here. Oh yeah, wow, okay, yeah. Empress is definitely going to be a fight. Good, I'm glad this isn't going to be a steamroll. The Empress is seeing our threat and they are bringing troops. Oh, shit. Alrighty. We're going to go down there and try and secure this province. And this army here needs to get recruiting more troops. Uh, Massalian Hoplite. Not a Massalian. Okay, so this was discussed in uh, the last episode. This is not the same unit card as the Massalian Hoplites. Which, now that I actually look at it in detail, they're right. It's not the same unit card. The Massalians are a little different, I think, in the helmet. It's the shield that got me, I think. I think the shield is very similar, because I... Or maybe the unit card. How the shield and the... They're not as, uh... I don't know why, but it just looked like a Masali Hoplite to me, and I called it that ever since. And now that I've been... they I've been reminded, it doesn't actually look like that. So, yeah. Big mistake on my part. I'm just uh, reading it wrong. But, recruit some range there, and down here... They're right on our doorstep, so we need to actually recruit more spearmen and enter turn. Okay, you're you're asking too much. For now, he's asking too much, anyways. We just don't have an army there that can actually engage them. I would say yes to that if we had a force ready to go. I do wonder where Empress is sailing, because that na that army could do some damage to us right now. 
because we're yeah we're still suffering attrition. Jesus Christ, this is going on for a while. Lysa March, we don't trust him, and he's abandoned his capital again. But he's got a full stack army there. Okay, so that place is still under heavy squalor. It's sitting at negative. Oh, the city. Go for that. All right, finally, they're done. <laughs> they're done dying of the disease. Move this army south. Do not go into the city, though, please. Make haste, men. Just, On the move. just go right there and hold. And hopefully that's enough to uh, counter the enemy because that's about as good as we're gonna get when it comes to a garrison. We might. I don't think they'll be, they won't be able to attack us next turn. So we'll get a little bit of replenishment, but not a lot. This army, though, can push down and take me before they get an army going as well. And did they move their army up here? They did not. Good. Are we being pushed in the south? Not yet. We're not. But we might be. We're aligning ourselves with Demetrios, so they might be taking an eye to us. Get a ten... Get up to 10 units in that army, then we'll wait. I didn't... Uh, we're, recruiting, we're recruiting an archery range. Why did I do this? That was useless. I'm panicking. But, oh well. Go for some strong hold the line swordsmen. End our turn. And pray. And hopefully my dog can stop whining. Good girl, Eva. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> uh, the agent is going for us now. Uh, yeah, Empress is definitely... Uh, they don't like that we've declared war on them and that we've taken some of their settlements. They're coming to bear upon us. Quite a strong force, honestly. I'm glad to see it. Saying we're still suffering attrition, but that's fine. And they are definitely going to besiege us. Thankfully, uh, well, no, they've got a decent build. Cavalry, some pikes, some hoplites, and a good contingency of range. Scary. Scary, scary, scary. All right, let's take... Let's engage him. Ooh. They're Pyrrhos. This isn't Pyrrhus, it's Pyrrhos. Either way, they're going to lose a really good general, it looks like. They recruited him too close to the front lines, and he's going to suffer for it. Kill the captives. Kill the general. He's a good one. <laughs> Don't let the good general I just talked about escape. There we go. Level up. Ah, the general leveled up. This is a cunning general. What do we want to get you? Lower movement speed. Sure not. Wow, he is. His gravitas through the roof. And we're going to take that settlement. Thank you. We're going to occupy it. And there we go. So it has a level 3 dry docks. Do we need a level 3 dry docks? You're in a different region. Ineos is a level, it's a fishery, a fishery. Tyrone, hmm, it looks like we do. Destroy that, and... Hmm. Good girl. <laughs> that dog is demanding treats to be quiet. I think we'll keep that going. And that's good, too. Yeah, I think we're good there. Um, we're going to hold. They're definitely going to attack us. So I think... Honestly, we might have to merge troops, which is not going to be good, but... Hey, if we got to do it, we got to do it, honestly. We don't have a choice. Because that, that army is going to be full stack bearing upon us. 
So merge those forces. hurts my heart to do. Damn. That hurt. <laughs> I'm a little less worried about merging these troops. Especially the Cav. Our nearest recruitment center is all the way back at Thrake. So the troops we lose here, the, we're going to lose them permanently for a while. But if we've got to do it, we've got to do it. The garrison is fully replenished. That's good. If we put this garrison in there. Yeah, let's do that. And honestly, I think we're going to have to merge these troops. Uh, do I do it? Do I do it, guys? Uh, I'm going to do it. I think I heard the game. There we go, okay. The game figured it out. So we'll get rid of these units that are obviously way too weak. And that's a unit, that's a level 7, so I'm not going to get rid of him unless he loses his ranks, but uh, give him the remaining troops. Uh, sure, give him the general too, or the uh, warrior. And let's grab, we got 4 range. Decent amount of melee. Give us one regular hoplite. Oh, we can have two hoplites. Two hoplites. You need to march north, I guess. No, don't march north. Uh, march. March that way, I guess. We'll send him back to Thrake to maybe try and pick up this army that we have going right here. And uh, we'll go from there. For now, stack up on recruitment of those guys, and we might be getting mercenary cavalry from here on because I don't know if it's worth recruiting uh, or building a mercenary uh, cavalry compound. Garrison down here isn't being threatened yet. That's good. If we see a threat along the horizon, we're going to spam all our money in the south, but for now, we're safe. Go ahead and end the turn, and uh, we might be fighting the city. If we get besieged at Tarona and they engage us, we'll fight it out. It's been a few episodes and we've had a battle, so I'd like to get one. Oh, the navy is pulled away, and the army is raiding. Huh. Interesting choice of uh, action. You are wise enough not to sit idly upon the bank. But to take the fish as it swims. It seems we're going to align ourselves with Demetrios after all. I didn't expect to do this, but uh, it's just how the cookie com the cookie the cookie crumbled. Yeah, there we go. Let's keep watching. Oh, they have a fool. They are recruiting actively recruiting troops to engage us, and they have a pike wall. Oh, this is gonna be tough, y'all. Our biggest benefit will be our range, it seems, and our maneuverability. Well, that army. Hmm. Um, do get a muster ground. We would need that, yes. Sanitation is at negative two. From there, and you're only giving food problems. I think we're going to have to deal with it, honestly. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with that. This is uh, an interesting situation we got going on here. This is a sloppy army. But we're going to wait. If they don't feel confident enough to attack us, that's good. The biggest question is, where are we going to go from here? Because that army is still recruiting troops. Yeah. Grabbing these cavalry would not be worth it. We should wait till we get further and find more, more better equipped cavalry, melee cavalrymen. Meanwhile, elsewhere, we do have money. We should probably spend it in our safest provinces. Such as over here, where we're making a shit ton of income. Uh, three squalor, four food. You're already suffering squalor problems. We can't upgrade you either. That sucks. Um, 
you're sitting at 4-4 right now. And you've already got max rank that. You sitting at 3-3. Three, three, gives us an extra 2. 4-8 food. We can handle that. Front line's looking a little sketchy, that's for sure. Keep pulling back. Last thing we need is Lice March to declare war on this. Hopefully they don't. So we've now got a few uh, got a few uh, allies I didn't expect to have. But we do. We might as well... Um, in a spirit of Olympian oh, that now they don't want to ally with us at all. Interesting. Greetings, friend. Greetings. Will you have wine? So they do, though. That's good. I must accept. Ikario. Ik Ikario. Though, does not. They don't want nothing to do with us, these two islands. Alright, let's end our turn. And I was hoping to get the Battle of Tyrone in here, but I guess the uh, Empress doesn't want to give in just yet. Joint enemies oh, now, now they want allies. something to do with us. Your strength, our wisdom, together would achieve great oh, well. oh, now you want st to do with us, to deal with us. I didn't mean to accept that. God damn it. It is a terrible thing to spread war. All right. Well, that shows you when you're in the diplomacy scre diplomacy screen. Be careful. Make sure you read the deals before you sign them. Oh, he leveled up. That's nice. What do we want to get him? Probably master defenders. Oh, the navy, that army is heading somewhere. I'd really not like to have to engage you, sir. At sea, for sure. I really do not want to have to do this at sea. I really don't want to have to get rid of our cavalry either. Y'all might hate me for doing this, but we're going to gather a new army real quick. Give him the cav. Recruit mercenary melee units. And engage. And you know what? This has been a weird episode, uh, but we're gonna just jump into this. Let, let's do it. <laughs> let's let's get this transport navy game going. Alrighty, so we're sitting at the 28 minute mark, but eh, who cares? Let's throw in a nice long episode. This, uh, we're doing pretty good. Alright, so these are all transport fleets, so they're gonna have to do boarding action. I've been playing Attila today, you can tell. Um, trying to group our troops up by holding the G key. Do let me know if you'll find the game too dark. I definitely have the gamma a little darker than normal. Uh, get the general out of there. The general's our weakest unit in this game. Mercenaries up front. Thrakes. Or melee. Heavy melee forces on the left. And you guys on the right. Demetrios has a tiny little navy that's going to come in and help us out, but... Real quick, let's take a look at our mercenaries. Particularly these guys, because they sound cool. Oh, they look cool. Very cool. Trillions. The trillions. Very cool. Then you got mercenary uh, hoplites. Greek phalanx. Nothing special, just mercenary hoplites. Alright, let's begin the battle and uh, try and win this. Alright. Should be fairly simple of um, go towards the enemy and board them. See what Demetrios does uh, with his few navies. With his few navies. They're like, ah, oh, we shouldn't be here. We're, we're going to leave. 
they going to turn around and face the enemy? Probably not. So the benefit is most of these are pike units. So, but they can't use their pikes. Oh, they do have, some of them do have high damage. Jesus. Uh, also, go flaming shot, please. They are not... They're not... Oh, they are moving towards us. Okay. And Demetrios is giving chase. They're diverting troops around. Or they're not. They have determined that we are a big threat to them. Alright. Yep, go for them. Go for them. Go for them. Go for them. Keep going. It's going to be very interesting Navy engagement. Right there. So slow. Oh, they have turned troops around to do... Oh no, Demetrios is going to get wrecked. Alright, we're the boarding has begun. And if you actually are interested in, like, the Peloponnesian Wars and things like that, this is actually, or not the Peloponnesian Wars, um, the Wars with Persia that I have all of a sudden forgotten the name. Like, you know, the, uh, the, uh, 300 movie and stuff like that. Both, obviously, they're not, those are historically inaccurate, like, uh, like, I think it's almost common knowledge now that the, uh, one of our ships is being the uh, Spartans had about a thousand, I believe, extra forces from another city-state that were sort of just meant to hold with them. Uh, the Spartans are the ones that got a lot of credit for it. Um, but either way, uh, this is a lot of how the battles, like, there's a significant naval engagement um, <clears throat> In, during the Persian Wars, while Sparta was holding the mainland, Athens gathered a strong navy, and the city-states, other city-states did too, uh, and engaged the Persian fleet head-on. And they were outnumbered, if I remember right, and it was not an easy task to do. Uh, Gameplay-wise, we are winning, actually, so it's a surprise, considering how our normal navy engagements go. Um, yeah, it was a really cool, and it actually... They made a movie about it recently in the same theme of, like, 300. So it wasn't exactly accurate. They, But it was still good, obviously. That guy's dead. Um, but uh, it was really good. You're going to go for them. Go for them. Our Navy is still... We're definitely suffering casualties, but... Not too horrible. Why are you all shaking? Go around. You're going to go for them. Oh, it's the general. We are losing. We lost over here, though. Demetrios. Demetrios here has managed to hold against... All of this, like, this is a horrible situation, usually. But we are getting to their skirmishers now, so that's good. And we're aiding Demetrios, it seems. Yep, here we come. Oh, uh, now they're coming for us. Oh, no. Demetrios, help us, please. Um. I can't, honestly, I think we're doing good. I think we're doing really good here. Aid that unit, please. Yeah, we're pulling. We're we crushed them here. Try and kill that unit. We lost over here somehow. Don't ask me how we did though. Other than that, it's being pelted in the face. We're boarding them here. We did. We won here as well. We, uh, yeah, the Thracian warriors lost a lot of troops. Some weird stuff's going on here. Demetrios is chilling as uh, our men die in his name. 
We're going to try and help him out. I mean, this didn't go too horrible, actually, guys. I'm quite impressed. I mean, we're, we're losing troops. We're losing a lot of troops, actually. Um, you really need to, like, board that, please. Dude. Fine. Go away. Help them. Y'all need to head around the side here. They still have two troops there. Figure whatever you're doing out here. I don't necessarily know what's going on, but... Uh, interesting. Uh, <laughs> these guys are just... Ah, uh, we, we got a few Thracians on the boat, and they're like, You killed all our men. We're gonna kill you. We did kill them. Their, their ship is on fire now. They're like, okay, we're leaving now. Let's get out of here, guys. Run. Flee. Three men survived from this whole... They're like, get back here. <laughs> they're like, oh, shit, guys. We're doomed. Now we're dead. They're like, oh, wow. <laughs> this is a sad boat trip back. <laughs> this is a sad trip back. But at least they get to go back. These guys are dead because apparently none of them can swim. Okay. This is causing a mass route, it looks like. Yes, perhaps. One of our ships is being boarded. What ship is left? What is left over here? Kill them. Who's left? These guys, kill them. And there we go. Yeah, that was pretty costly. Um, we lost half our force. They lost all of their force. Um, that didn't go the best. <laughs> but it was mainly mercenaries. Uh, I did want us to get that in, and that was pretty fun, and I'm glad I got to talk a little bit about the history I know. Very little. It's been a long time since I've looked at any of that stuff. But yeah, if you're interested, go check it out, because it's pretty it's pretty interesting. But I'm not going to bore you guys any longer. Uh, but if you have enjoyed the video, uh, like and subscribe. Take the notification button to be notified when I post videos like this. Hope you all have a great Wednesday. And yeah, without further ado, hope you all have enjoyed. This has been Spartan, signing off.